World of CPUs has been notoriously busy in recent years and we've been keeping this buying guide up to date with the latest releases to complement our day one reviews and benchmark comparisons. The last update on this topic was only four months ago, but since then Intel released the 11th Gen Core series and perhaps more importantly, slashed prices of the previous 10th generation. AMD has continued to struggle with supply, which has possibly delayed the introduction of more affordable non-X Zen 3 processors. It's not great for value rise in parts, though that doesn't appear to be affecting sales as much as you might expect. With With readers constantly inquiring about which CPU they should buy, and after all the extensive testing you're familiar with, our CPU buying guide narrows things down to a handful of recommendations you can trust. Pricing and availability is largely helping Intel dominate the picks for this update, hands down claiming 3 out of the 5 picks with a possible 4th pick depending on availability. These are our top 5 CPUs The CPU with the best all-round value is the Intel Core i5-11400F which sells for $243 The best gaming CPU is the Intel Core i7-10700 or Core i9-10900 which sells for $322 The best extreme CPU is the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3990X which sells for $4083 The best value for productivity is the Ryzen 9 5900X 5950X or Core i9-10900 which sells for $999 The best budget CPU is the Intel Core i3-10100 which sells for $159 The Ryzen 5 3600 had been our top pick for the best CPU value since it launched back in 2019. In that time, we've kept note of a good Intel alternative and close runner-up in the Core i5 10400F. However the Intel chip was let down by motherboard prices and the need for a Z-series board if you want to run at memory speeds above DDR4-2666. More recently, the 10400F plummeted in price and was available for $150, while the Ryzen 5 3600 was more expensive at $220, at least when you could find it. Sadly the Intel CPU has become a little harder to find and if you can't get it for $150 but closer to $180 to $200, at that point you might as well look to the new 11400 series. The Core i5-11400F can be had for $175, while the standard version with integrated graphics is $10 more. That's less than the $190 you'll pay for the Ryzen 5 2600, $220 for the 3600, or $300 for the 5600X, if you can find it. The 11400F benefits from better memory support, DDR4-3200 is the stock configuration now though it doesn't really matter given the cheaper B560 boards support memory overclocking. You also get 20 PCIe lanes from the CPU, whereas 10th Gen Core parts got just 16, and that means the CPU can connect directly to your primary M.2 storage device for even greater performance. Intel motherboards might be around $20 to $30 more right now, but that's offset by the cheaper CPU pricing. Not to mention the 11400F is faster than the Ryzen 5 3600 across the board, making it the obvious choice. What do you think of our list of the top 5 best CPUs? Please let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos every day.